Jacksonville Jaguars coach Urban Meyer addressed his entire team this morning and apologized for his behavior Friday night, a source has confirmed to ESPN. Meyer's apology to the entire team was first reported this morning by NFL Network. The first-year coach told the players he was sorry for embarrassing them. Meyer is scheduled to address reporters later today. His apology to the team came one day after owner Shad Khan publicly reprimanded Meyer for his inexcusable actions last week at an Ohio bar. Meyer also publicly commented on the situation on his radio show in Jacksonville, acknowledging he needs to regain the organization's trust. He said, I made a comment when I got here about the logo, about an owner who wants to win in the worst way. That's one of the reasons I came here. I admire that guy so much. That's what made me so angry at myself that I believe I failed, uh, that, that, I, that I believe that and I failed. It's ironic that he said he wants to come and win in the worst way. He seems to be doing that. Uh, here's the thing. So I know Urban a little. I don't know him real well. I don't want to overstate. I don't want to give you the impression that, you know, we, we have dinner together or anything like that. But from, from the old show and from a, a bunch of relationships that I have, I've been around Urban a lot. And I have to just ask this question. Like, what the hell is he doing? Urban Meyer is a very smart guy. And he is a very shrewd guy. You don't get to do what he did. You don't get to be him without not only being a great football coach, which he is, and a great recruiter, which he obviously was, and that was the key to his success, but also without knowing how the game works. And I don't mean the game of football. I mean the game. Like all of us in this sports business, like in any other industry, we have our place in it. Like I've got a role in it. I know what my role is. Like I, I've been doing this a long time. I kind of know where I fit in. Like the sports world is like a big jigsaw puzzle. And we're all pieces and we all have our place. And some pieces are much bigger than others. Like Tom Brady's a huge piece. I'm a little tiny piece, but I'm a piece. And I know where I fit in all of this. And so here's what I will say. Because I can say this from personal experience. A person in his position doesn't make that mistake ever, what he did Friday night, ever, by accident. I, I, the, the analogy I will make for you is, I went to my kids' basketball games forever. Now, Urban Meyer is a thousand times more famous than I am. But I've been on TV so long, everywhere I go, generally speaking, at least one person knows who I am. So when I would go to my kids' basketball games, I was always acutely aware of the fact that people were paying attention to me and were taking pictures. Because in this day and age, everyone is taking pictures of everything. And so I was incredibly careful never to yell at a ref. Now, when you're watching your kid play ball, like, you get exercised. <laughs> you know, when there's a call that goes against your <laughs> kid or goes against your team, like, you want to, like, I want to act like I'm at a Nick game. You know, I want to yell and scream at the ref. But I was extremely careful not to do that because I am acutely aware that if I do that, there's no question someone is going to capture it on video, and that is going to be on a blog somewhere immediately. Immediately. That's life. That's, my, that's, that's what comes with the puzzle piece that I am in the sports world. And I, make, I have no complaints about it. The, the pluses way outweigh the minuses of having the career that I have. That's one of the things that you live with. Urban Meyer has been the most famous person in every room he's been in for 20 years. 20 years. This is a man who lived in Gainesville, Florida and Columbus, Ohio. He didn't live on, in, in Hollywood where he's walking down the street and Brad Pitt might be walking down the other way. Urban Meyer is very accustomed to being the most famous person everywhere he is. He is, I promise you, acutely aware of the fact that when he is in public, people are paying attention to what he does and that people are taking pictures and video of him. I guarantee that. So, how do you explain this? Like, how does one explain what he did on Friday? I, I, I don't, I'm not going to offer some of the obvious explanations because I think they're irresponsible to speculate about, and I don't know. But if you just think about it a little bit, there are a couple of reasons someone might want to do something like that, that someone might want to create a problem like that for themselves, someone with a long-term guaranteed contract, et cetera, et cetera. 
that may find themselves in a situation that was not what they expected it to be professionally and not that happy. Again, I'm going too far with this. I, it's not responsible for me to speculate about that because I have no idea. But I understand why people are doing it. Because I promise you, he knows. People like him, people as famous as he is, as long as he is, there's no way in the world he's like, oh, I have no idea people might be paying attention to me in my own place in Columbus, Ohio. There's no chance of that. So that's why I continue to say, like, I don't understand what's happening here. I, I am flabbergasted by this because things like that don't happen by accident much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.